The Huskers have never won at Mackey. They are 1-10 and 10 all time in West Lafayette. We are ready to go. Walker and Edie and Edie wins the tip. Right? Yeah. This is Braden Smith, the outstanding freshman point guard, having a spectacular year. And this guy's having a pretty good year as well as a freshman Fletcher Lawyer. And so a fresh 20 for Nebraska. That's one of the reasons why Fred Hoiberg loves this team. These guys will battle. And Walker gets the first two of the game for the Huskers. Derek Walker Jr., one of the craftiest post players in all the conference, has tremendous angles on his finishes. Here's Braden Smith for three. Can't leave him that open. Well, to get that look when he wants it. He's got to rise with confidence. First double teamed on the block. Here's Lawyer. Fletcher Lawyer with his second three. Vandemel. Here's Walker. He got a bunch of those to go in the first meeting against Edie. He is so crafty, Steven. Yeah, a block with him because he utilizes his shoulder, creates a little bit of space. He's got the old man angles off the glass. There's Lawyer, another three for Fletcher Lawyer. Nine early points. And he's trying to build on this lead, Mason Gillis. Lawyer will try another one over Tominaga, and he hits again. Fletcher Lawyer with a dozen. It'll be a future for this Boiler squad. Up the red, red shirt in last year. Walker again. Derek Walker has all six of Nebraska's points there from Gillis. Walker inside Wilcher. Gets his men in the air, and this time Wilcher able to hit the layup through this first half. 15-8 lead for the Boilers, who have led it throughout, despite not having a single point in the paint. An all-outside shooting. Gillis, the offensive board, and there is the first bucket inside for Purdue. Moving forward, he has not shot the three well, but he's very capable. He is strong, versatile, does a lot of everything that a team, that winning teams need. Such a good offensive rebounding team as Walker hits again. I'm not sure how high the correction is. But as a glasses wear, I can tell you it could be a problem. He's playing without him. Walker oh, gets it to move. go. Derek Walker, 10 points, and again, that time over Edie. They're coming into this with their eyes wide open, but that will be really interesting to see along the way because they have not played like freshmen at all to this point. Extra pass there. And it ends up as a three for Newman and kind of case in point there. Well done by Smith with the assist. Walker going to try the three, and it goes. Derek Walker having a huge game. 13 is one shot in his season average. There's Morton. Three on the shot clock. Lawyer leads in. And is there to clean it up. First two points for Zach Eady. Bandemel drifting across the lane, and Emmanuel Bandemel, the Quebec City native transfer from SMU. Lawyer. That one rims out. Eady, the offensive board, back up and in. Exactly what I was thinking while you were talking. He was kind of the consummate Katie era boilermaker. And he had muscles coming out of his muscles at a time when not everyone did. That's right. Koyanitz there lays it in. First two for the redshirt freshman from Lithuania. And if Nebraska can get two or three buckets from him and stay within range, they'll feel pretty good about themselves going to the break. He dared first to shoot and he hits the three. You study long, you study wrong. But that time first was able to get that down. That's hard to do. A double clutch three. Tominaga trying to answer and he does. It's going to be interesting to see what Derek Walker. Oh my goodness. They posted, they posted Tominaga up. Brooks Wells, one of the officials, trying to get a call, but there's none to be had on that possession. Under a minute to go. Edie. 
Makes it look easy. That is seven points. Just cannot afford those types of turnovers. Edie, double teamed. Here's Morton for three. Got it. Boy, if Ethan Morton is hitting three. Lawyer working behind the ED screen. Pulls up inside the arm this time and hits. That's tough. You know, you talk about early 50s. And, you know, Henson went late into his 60s coaching, 70s almost. Braden Smith hits and draws the foul, but too small. And, but, man, you watch him play. I mean, it'd take more than five minutes to That's right. see the great energy he's got. He's incredibly skilled. Nice pass there. And Walker finishes off the layup. And their ability to get after it each and every night kind of separates them from some of the other freshmen that you see on a regular basis. First missing that one. Bandabill on the move. Euro steps through and lays it in. This team, he said they're a joy to be around every day. Play really hard for him, very connected. They've improved dramatically on this end of the court. Although you wouldn't know it from that little sequence right there. His first throws down the dunk in Columbus yes. against a team that really needed a win. They haven't been playing well. It, it just really speaks to the balance as Smith gets to the hoop and lays it in. Brayden Smith coming alive here. Get a key injury to Tyler Wall, and now they've dropped a couple. And so it's just, it goes on and on. Michigan State had their injuries early. They're start, they're healthy now. He has really come to play though tonight. 15 points. Royer for three again. And Vandemil has it now for Nebraska. Walker on the other end. Turn the game slowing down. And it does seem like, again, he's new to basketball. I mean, that's what the crazy thing about it is. You know, only been playing for about five years is Tominaga hits the three. Follow through and you know, he's got some swag about his game. He does. He has a, some showmanship. Yes, he does. Here's Killis for three. Oh, like a smooth game-winning hit. Seven points now for him. And the lead back up to 20. That's big. He, he's starting to get that range back again. Lawrence rolls one home. First two for the freshman from New Jersey. That's the thing. That one of the things that really impresses me about him. New career high for Fletcher Lawyer. He's at 24. Tominaga hits it. He's one of the few coaches who does redshirt and just feels like you're going to be a better player as a fifth-year player than as a first-year player. Here's Gillis. Strong drive to the hoop, and Mason Gillis gets it to go. You know, yet another piece and added depth to this already deep boiler squad. Lawrence gets the layup to go. First year players, you got to go through the lead. You don't you don't get the benefit of the doubt. It may not be fair, but that's the way it is. And Walker over Kaufman Rando go to the free throw line as well. Guys that communicate. Absolutely. No, and it, it's not just limited to basketball, I can tell you. It's one who spends a lot of time around <laughs> young people of this age. As Edie hits. The bucket. What wasn't, wasn't there? Smith with the floater. Great job of attacking the closeout. I think it's probably why Fred Hoiberg called that timeout there a yep. few minutes ago, just to not let things get so out of hand for his crew and get him to focus in here on the finish as Lawrence follows up his own miss and now has a half dozen. ED. And Walker step in front of him there. Now Tominaga resets for three and hits it. To Ohio State. Gillis, the fourth Boilermaker in double figure. Now, this is a team that has made major strides here, Nebraska. As we get the three ball there. That Purdue was really good. <laughs> Top three in the country, in my opinion. Two, one of the three teams that I think could win a national championship. The other two being? I would have to say Kansas. And I'd have to say the Houston Cougars have got to be in the conversation yeah. as well. As Matt Painter gets career win number 400. And the whose house, our house chance.
Raining down here from the paint crew, the Boilermakers now 16 and 1 on the year, and the 11th school ever to win 1,900 games, 400 of them coached by that man. Oh, he's done a fantastic job in this, you know, carrying on the tradition of Gene Cady, but he's put his own spin on what Purdue is, and it's been fun to see.